Happy Sunday. I choked on my violin. Now, before our story, let's pour a cup of tea. Yeah. I think I forgot the storybook. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. You can ponder life for a minute. I have a little... Oh, this is going to be some video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you all know what a professional YouTube video person I am now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you're getting all the first takes. Um, instead of Peter Rabbit, I thought this would be a good story to read. Although, with Easter coming up, we probably should read Peter Rabbit. Um, but it's an even better story than that that we'll read sometime this week in, anticip in anticipation of Easter. So today is Palm Sunday. And yes, I'm in my cold back room. Well, hello there. Bob and I just bought new hats. Love hats. Bob got a baseball cap, but I wanted something adventurous. Like a Fedora. Even the name sounds daring. On our way home, the Mushroom Brothers knocked our hats off, right off our head, and they took them. As we were plotting our revenge, Princess Petunia saw us and encouraged us to read Minnesota Cuke. She said it might help us figure out what to do. So... Apparently that's Minnesota Cuke in his Fedora or Cuke Dora. You'll never get away with this, Rattan. Splat! Minnesota Cuke plunged into the powdery snowball as he grasped the golden carrot nose from the indomitable snowman of the north. Aha! Finders keepers shouted Professor Rattan as he snatched the treasure away. Rattan had ruined everything again. Kind of like I just did with this video. <laughs> Later that day. Rattan's just a bully, Minnesota, Martin said, trying to console Minnesota over the phone. I need to find Samson's hairbrush, Minnesota replied. Then I will have all the power, and Rattan can never bully me again grabbed his hat. I'm going out for ice cream. Are you having trouble following this story? Because I kind of am, but I know we'll get to a point. Minnesota smiled at the beautiful rhubarb at Malta Malts. Hello, Julia. I'm looking for Samson's hairbrush. Don't, Minnesota. It's too dangerous, Julia pleaded. But with a tip of his fedora and a wink of his eye, she gave him the address. Minnesota Cuke, I always knew that someday you'd come walking through my door. Hmm. Later still, Minnesota Cuke headed deep into the catacombs and shined his flashlight on the cave drawings. It's the story of Samson. Wow, what a guy, Minnesota said, looking at the muscular peach wrestling a lion. He carefully crossed the rickety bridge that led to a pedestal holding the hairbrush. Congratulations, Mr. Cuke. It was his arch nemesis standing smugly at the other end of the bridge. Hand over the brush, Rattan ordered. Never. I have the power now, Minnetota, Minnetota, Minnesota said. <laughs> but Rattan had captured Julia. It's a simple trade, Minnesota. The brush for the beautiful girl. Don't do it, Cuke, Julia called. Minnesota had no choice. He handed over the brush. We have to stop him. He's a bully. I've got to get even with him, Minnesota shouted after Rattan disappeared. <clears throat> 
Stand back, I love you. I have a brush and I know how to use it. The Bible says we should love our enemies, Julia said. We can't go around trying to get even all the time. That would leave the whole world in a mess. Uh, footnote, it, sometimes we just can't fix anything or one thing or a lot of things. I'm sorry, Julia, Minnesota said. Being mean back to a bully just makes me a bully too. But with that hairbrush, we can to rule the world. The Bible says God gave Samson his power, not his hair or hairbrush, Julia said. I know what I have to do, Minnesota said, as he dashed off to catch up with Rattan. Moments later. Stand back. I have a brush and I know how to use it, Rattan ordered. But Martin had called the police. They arrived just in time for Rattan. Let him go, fellas, Minnesota said. God gives us the power to love everybody, even our enemies. No one has ever been kind to me before, Rattan said. I'm really sorry. Here's your hairbrush. Nah, you need it to cover that little bald spot you're getting, Minnesota replied, as he fixed Rattan's hair. I think I'm going to like being friends. Wow. So, this is where Rattan captures Julia. And notice the one under duress is quoting scripture. <laughs>